Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I have the Tecno Camo 19 Pro Mondrian Edition. Now this is the same exact phone as the Tecno Camo 19 Pro but it has some few differences. First of all, this is a showpiece. This is a statement phone, it's not a regular phone. So why Mondrian Edition? Well this phone is inspired by Piet Mondrian who was a painter and in 1920 he did one of his paintings called Composition A and I believe this phone, the design you can see over here is inspired by that painting as you can see. Now, in the movie Man vs. B on Netflix, you can see a similar style painting in the second episode. Piet Mondrian is one of the pioneers of abstract paintings, and this phone is inspired by that. So this phone won two awards recently, one of them being the Moose Design Awards, and the other one being the A-Design Award. So let's get into the phone and see what else it has. When it comes to the specifications, it, they are exactly the same as the Tecno Camo 19 Pro. They have 256 GB ROM. 8GB plus 5GB of virtual RAM, 64 megapixel main, and 50 megapixel portrait lens. And now for the unboxing. And this phone looks absolutely stunning, even in the inside packaging. It has the same design as the packaging. And look at that. This is the only color that this phone comes in. And like I said, this phone can actually change colors when in sunlight. So as that boots up, let us check the rest of the accessories. And these accessories are exactly the same as the Tecno Camo 19. We have the free clear phone case. We have a 33 watt fast charger, hands-free headset, and the USB cable. Even without the color changing, this phone looks absolutely stunning. I love this design at the back as well as the color. The Mondrian Edition changes color when in contact with sunlight. It even works in the shade although the effect is magnified when in direct sunlight. This is as a result of a special coating on the back cover. At the launch, they used a special black light torch which emits UV light for the same effect. And in my opinion, this phone looks absolutely stunning when changing colors. So because this phone is white in color, we can see the OIS and EIS stabilization laser focus dots. Those are the two small dots you can see over here. So what else does this phone have? Let's start at the bottom. At the bottom from your left, you have the 3.5mm audio jack, the microphone, USB type C port, and the speaker. Look how slim this phone is. I absolutely love it. So on the right side, we have the power button, which also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner and the volume buttons on top of that. Now on the right side, we have the SIM tray. This SIM tray can hold one SD card as well as two nano SIM cards. At the front, we have a dot in display front camera and the earpiece on top of that. And again, we have a secondary microphone on top of the phone right over there. This back cover is also a fingerprint proof surface. And no matter how many fingerprints you try and leave on this phone, none will actually show. Very, very nice. Another thing I would like to mention about this phone is how slim these bezels are. They are absolutely slim. Compare that with the Tecno Spark 8B. And now you can see how slim these bezels are. The Mountain Edition also has dual notification zones. On the left side, we have the action notifications. And on the right side, we have the drop down menu. Let's go into the settings and check the specifications. Like I said before, they are exactly the same as the regular Camel 19 Pro. The Mondial version is also powered by a Helio G96 processor. It has 8 GB RAM and 256 GB of internal storage. The battery capacity is also 5000 mAh and the screen resolution is Full HD Plus with 1080 by 2460. As far as the cameras go, we have the 64 megapixel triple rear camera setup at the back and a 32 megapixel front camera. And finally, this phone runs on Android 12 version. The 8GB RAM can be expanded further in the special function. When it comes to MemFusion, we can actually set the virtual RAM to a maximum of 5GB for a total of 13GB of RAM. And this uses a part of the internal storage. 
This display also has a very big refresh rate of up to 120 hertz. This is for smoother animations and I prefer to set it to 120 hertz if I will be gaming. But for normal usage, I actually just set it to auto switch refresh rate to save on battery as well as have a good performance. But in order to save battery, you just select 60 hertz. What about the sensors? For that, I'm going to use the CPU X application. So the CPU again is an octa-core 2.05 gigahertz MT6781V CD processor, and this phone has a Mali G57 MC2 GPU. When it comes to the sensors, this phone we've already seen the fingerprint scanner is the power button. So this phone has an accelerometer, an orientation sensor, magnetic sensor, proximity sensor light sensor, rotation sensor, gyroscope, as well as gravity. The temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors are not available. And finally, the game rotation, step detector, and step counter sensors are available. So this is a very good gaming device, in my opinion. With 120 Hz refresh rate and the gyroscope and the other sensors, it will make a very good gaming device. And now for the camera. These are all the features of the camera. From film, video, AI cam, beauty, portrait, super night, AR shot, short video, pro, slow motion, panorama, documents, time lapse, and sky show. The 64 megapixel is activated by tapping on 64M over here. And here are the different photo aspect ratios. We have full, then 4x3, which is the normal, and finally 1x1. One one. This works perfect on Instagram as well as YouTube community posts. When it comes to video recording, the Mondrian Edition has a maximum recording quality of 2K. This is 1440p. The other quality is being 1080p and 720p, all at 30 frames per second. This phone has video stabilization, and the other features are the video beauty mode and the bokeh effect, all at 720p. So one of the biggest advantages of the Technocamo 19 series this year is the ability to pick audio from external microphones. So if you have a lavalier microphone or the microphone from your headset, it will pick the audio perfectly from this microphone as opposed to the microphone on the phone. So now you can hear me perfectly. And if I close this, you can't hear me. You can hear me perfectly. And I love this about the Technocamo 19 Pro, only an edition too. So as you see, this phone does not have the navigation buttons at the bottom. It uses gesture navigations. But in order to change that, you just go into the settings and then scroll all the way at the bottom, we have system. And in system, you can see system navigation. And in here, you can just select the three button navigation if the gesture navigations is a problem for you. The previous regular Technocamo 19 Pro went for 33,800 Kenya shillings. And now this Technocamo 19 Pro Mountain Edition goes for 35,000 Kenya shillings. And as you can see, this is 1,200 Kenya shillings more than the regular Technocamo 19 Pro. And I really love this phone. Now, this is one of the phones with one of the best gimmicks that I have used this year. Not only does it have a very good camera setup, but the changing colors, that really attracts me. So what do you think, guys? Would you buy this phone just for this gimmick? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.